Find sizzling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've made a special purchase of 2016 Chevy Malibus. Eight to choose from starting at just $13,995. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall. What's in your driveway? This morning, shoppers in Kelloland bolt to the stores over the weekend. How concerns over the coronavirus are creating a shopping cart contagion. Plus, we'll show you how Feeding South Dakota is ensuring that families can still put food on the table during the uncertainty over coronavirus. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news as you start your Sunday. But first, let's get a check on the forecast with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry. It's a better start to the day compared to what we had Saturday morning. We're not dealing with snow or treacherous road conditions, but we'll have cloud cover that we'll have to contend with today. It's still a seasonable day overall. Upper 30s in eastern Kelloland, low to mid 40s along and West River. Staying mainly dry, not just today, but also tomorrow for that matter. A renegade shower or two, not out of the question. A Monday also the milder of the two days, especially in southeastern Kelloland, getting into the mid 40s, upper 30s and low 40s elsewhere. Tuesday, though, easily the pick day of the week before we keep a very close eye on what could be a messy second half of this upcoming work week. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, the latest numbers from the South Dakota Department of Health show that there have been no new cases of COVID-19 in the state. The number of positive cases still stands at nine. The number of negative cases has more than doubled since Friday with results from three tests still pending. COVID-19 has turned up in seven South Dakota counties. We expect updated numbers from the Department of Health later today. Well, there won't be any school this week in Sioux Falls, but students will still be able to eat free meals during the closure. The district will be serving sack lunches at six elementary schools Monday through Wednesday from 1130 to 1230. The locations are at Laura B. Anderson, Hawthorne, Hayward, Ann Sullivan, Terry Redland, and Lowell Elementaries. Well, with those schools closing all across the state, Feeding South Dakota wants to make sure families and children can still have access to a meal. The nonprofit hosted two emergency packing sessions on Saturday to prepare meals for those who might otherwise go without. Putting out a call for volunteers is more of a challenge for Feeding South Dakota in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, there's going to be opportunities to help us out if you're willing. Um, yeah, I think we want to caution that a little bit to also make sure that, you know, the same kind of precautionary rules apply for volunteers, you know. So if you haven't been feeling well, uh, don't volunteer. If you would like to apply to volunteer, check out a link to feedingsouthdakota.org that you'll find on this story on our website at kelloland.com. Well, concerns over COVID-19 are bringing many people in Kelloland to the grocery store to stock up. A nationwide rush to the stores has left shelves short of items like toilet paper and hand sanitizer. But shoppers in Sioux Falls say they're not panic buying at this point. Although some aren't exactly why they're on a shopping spree in the first place. And I stocked up on toilet paper, but like I say, I don't know why. It just seems the thing that people are grabbing. But Mayor Top Paul Tenhaken says there's no reason for anyone to hoard items. He says it's a good idea, though, to make a grocery run for your neighbor who might not be able to get out. Several Kelloland churches have canceled services today because of the threat of coronavirus. You can find out if services have been canceled at your church by going to our clothesline at kelloland.com. And if you can't make it to a church in person, you can attend from your living room instead. Kelloland TV broadcasts mass every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You can also watch a televised worship service from Bethany Mennonite Church in Freeman at 4 o'clock on my UTV. Adam? Well, we have cloud cover on the way as we head through the day on Sunday, especially the further east you go. But we have a weak cold front that's going to make its presence known, not really in the form of rainfall, let alone snow, but a change in our wind direction comes out of the northwest, and that's what happens east of the river. We have a fantastic start to the day with plenty of sunshine on the round. We could see an isolated shower or two, the rain or snow variety, a couple of models trying to pick up on that in southeastern Kelloland, but I think that's an exception to the overall rule. High temperatures today uh, gradually climbing into the upper 30s, East River, low to mid 40s in general to the west, unless you're headed to northwestern parts of South Dakota, with more cloud cover on the way for Monday. Tuesday, the pick day of the week by a long shot, before we keep an eye on Thursday and Friday for that rain snow chance and then a cold blast of air that comes in for the start of the first weekend of spring. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.